Hey YouTube, Dawson Rider here with a review of Common Rider Odin and Gold Phoenix. Another Ryuki release, which means it's going to be awesome. Do we even need to spend more than these 10 seconds on it? Man, I guess. So anyway, uh, box time. I know everyone loves this. But so obviously we have a larger box because of Odin. I mean, uh, Gold Phoenix. And because of Odin. I mean, he just needs to hold it. I mean, he was in two shows. Didn't have a real character. Twice. Anyhow, pretty typical. Um, it's kind of I fall over, I see how it is. Uh, pretty much just gray, you kind of got the cracked mirror effect. Picture of Odin and Gold Phoenix. Got the name here in front in gold. Um, his name on the side yet again, you can see his wing continuing over here. Uh, more continuing of the picture. And on the back you got the cracked mirror effect and shows you various things you can do with it. All his vents, final vent, uh, sword vent, guard vent. So that's cool. And then on the top, just the name again bottom numbers you should call. I'm going to set the box out of here just because it's kind of in the way. Like, he already knocked Odin over. Um, accessories wise, uh, it comes with quite a bit, obviously. Uh, you got a bunch of different hands here. You got your kind of relaxed hands, holding the card hands, holding weapon hands, um, holding other weapon hands, holding his hands. I was going to go for a joke that I decided not to. Um, and then that's just kind of more of a relaxed hand, kind of like I got on him. Like, he's like really elegant. Um, and then you do have the cards here that come with them. You get a variety here. I never take them out of the packaging in the review, sorry, just because I don't really ever pose them with the cards and I always lose them, as I found with the Figmas, so I prefer to just keep them in there. And then you probably already saw, but you do get his sword vents, which can actually reattach to the Phoenix, which I'll just show in a second. Um, but very nicely painted, as usual. Um, and then you have all these little pieces here for his various uh, vents. Uh, you got a handle here for one of the ways you can hold his shield. Um, you've got an arm piece here for another way he can hold his shield. Or it's more like a... a yeah, it's an arm piece, I guess. And then this is a, a piece for his back for when you put the wings on. And then uh, this clear piece here is for putting in the phoenix so it can go on the Tomashi stand. Speaking of, brilliant segue, Dawson. You get a Tomashi stand, which I hate with a passion, but it is pretty neat. Um, just the gold paint on here uh, with this symbol and it says Master Rider Odin on there. So that's cool. Um, I, like I said, I really don't care for Tomashi stands. I'm going to take this off because you'll see why in a minute. And then, of course, he comes with um, Gold Phoenix, which is really cool. Oh, and then, of course, he gets his staff. How could I forget? He fell over with it because he's so tired because he was in a coma in Dragon Knight. Um, but very nicely done here. Uh, as you can see, it's a really nice gold color. Uh, obviously, this opens up. I have it closed right now. But that opens up. Uh, very nice looking. Um... Uh, you got this piece here which slides for the cards, which you can see the little mechanism there. I don't want to break it right now though. Anyhow, I don't want to break this. I'll, uh, I don't need to make any more live figure arts breakings. But very nice, we'll show that in a sec. Uh, so anyway, let's take a look uh, at the figure first, um, and then we'll do Phoenix, and then it's combinations, just in case you wanted to know how everything was going down. So as I said, uh, Ryuki figures are always very well done, and this guy's really no exception. exception. Um, Odin uh, slash Wrath is one of my more favorite designs. It's a pretty awesome design. It's kind of unfortunate he never really got like a full-fledged person in there, if you know what I mean, from either show. But anyhow, um, very nice head sculpt. Uh, they did a very good job on it. Here, the gold looks really nice. I like the sort of subtle shine that the gold paint has. Uh, nicely proportioned, no real neck problems. It looks pretty much just like it would on the show. He doesn't have too long of a neck or too stubby of a one. You got his shoulder pads here, which if you couldn't already tell from me fiddling with it, has two pieces. Um, his chest armor looks pretty good here. You kind of got this brownish gold here. That's what I'm going to call it. Um, very nicely detailed. His arm pieces here. These things are going to pop out for switching of shields. Um, and then you've got his, his advent deck right here, which also, as usual, is nicely detailed. And in case you didn't know, can come out um, if you're not being embarrassed by a figure on a review. Come on. There we go. You can pop out. I'm not going to pull it all the way out, but it does go all the way out. Um, and then obviously his legs are nothing special. I mean, he works out, but no, I'm just kidding. But uh, you just mainly got the black here until you get to his armor. But it's all very nice looking. Um, the same great uh, Ryuki mold that we've been using. Here's the back, obviously. Um, Articulation-wise, uh, pretty much typical 360 ball joint here. Uh, there's a very, very slight hindrance when this little piece here hits the shoulder pad, but it's nothing major. Um, swiveling here at the arm, double elbow joint. Swiveling here at the fist on a nice ball joint. Nice 360 leg articulation on a ball joint. Swiveling on that leg, double knee joint. 
uh, you got your, your toe joint here, which I just showed, and then of course um, a nice um, ball hinge joint here for his foot. And then your waist and chest articulation. Chest articulation is a little more limited because of his large armor piece. So, like I said, once again, very nicely done. No loose joints. The Ryuki mold is a fantastic mold. Mold? It's a fantastic mold. Definitely at the top tier. I don't even know, like, entirely what type of accent that was. But I, I, I went with it. So then you got Gold Phoenix here, uh, which is really cool. He comes with his contract beast since he's more of a smaller one, more feasible. Obviously, you got stuff like Ryuki where he came with his and it's big, but it's Ryuki. How is he going to be an exclusive? Um, but very, very cool looking. I always like the contract beasts. This guy looks really awesome. All the details look good. The paint looks really cool. It looks really majestic. Uh, you even got the compound little things here. Uh, you can move his wings. They flap. You can move them up and down. You can separate these pieces. Um, you can move his neck back and forth, obviously that piece has popped off, but you can move it all the way back, which is part of the transformation. Um, his head can move up and down. It, I believe it is possible to move his beak out, because it looks like it, but I can't, even though my fingernails probably need to be cut at this moment, I can't get it out. But yeah, um, his legs also have some decent articulation around here, they're on like a little ball joint, so you can move them all the way forward, all the way back as well. Um, you've even got a little bit of a hinge joint here, and his feet can move around, so very nice. Um, I'm not going to do both of them, I suppose, but uh, as I showed, or said, you can put the sword pieces back in here, like that, if you if you so desire. Um, and then this piece here, uh, which I just showed a second ago, uh, is you take out this back piece, which is going to become the shield, if you want to use that, and um, you slide it in right here in this little okay, square Okay, so we area. got it on there, um, and then the main reason, Odin, go over here. You're in the way, bro. Um, for that is so you can stick this in his hole. He gets his own hole now. And so you can now put Gold Phoenix on there. So he can be flying and stuff. This is a really crappy flying pose, but it was mainly just to show that off. Um, but so that's neat, I guess. That's actually a fairly useful use of the Tomashi stage in comparison to usual. So anyhow, you can do several things with this guy. If I mess up, sorry. Um, but yeah. So, uh, as you saw, I just pulled that back piece off, which can become a shield. And you can really do this one of two ways. Um, I'm going to show this way, but I'm not going to show it all the way because I don't have the right hand on. But you can place this little handle piece here, and you can have him hold it like this. Obviously, I have the wrong one in. But you can have him hold it like that, and it can be more spiky or whatnot. Like, you can stab people with it, right? So, you can do that, and then you can also take... Um, his little arm piece right here, and it, it pops right off, and replace it with this one. And replace it right. Come on. Why am I having so much trouble with stuff today, guys? Anyhow. And then you just place it on here, and you kind of have like an arm piece. So he can be like, don't attack me, please. So you can do that two different ways. Unless there's a way, I don't think there's a way to do both, because um, if you're like, oh, that's stupid, you can do both at the same time, but that's the way I found it to be. So you can do that, and then of course you can actually put the phoenix on his back. In order to do that, which you can't really tell, you actually have to pull these little vent pieces off, which um, actually come off together, it's actually fairly easy, so I gripped it from that. And then for him, um, I believe all you do is just fold his beak down, and then here, you have to pull his nipples off. So, this is actually a bit difficult, because these snap on really tight. Like, these are really tight nipples, if you know what I mean. Um, I guess there's no way you end that. That's just straight up sexual. Um, but, yeah, you have to pull these off. I might even cut away in a second to do it. Uh, I'm gonna try, I want to try to get one, so you believe me. Um, but, yeah, you have to pull these off to get the, the pegs. Come on. Ow, got one! Sweet. Now I'm just going to really quickly cut away and do the other one. Alright, I, I cut away time. and I got the second one in one try. I just thought you'd like to know that. Um, so that's cool. And by pegs, I meant holes. Um, so then you just stick these in here. As you can see, this sort of makes the same kind of piece here we pulled off. And then you can place his wings on and you can be like, ah, and do stuff like that. So very, very cool. Uh, that you can do that. A um, little bit of annoying system of uh, getting that off and stuff. Um, but still, uh, just very cool that you can do it. And it's very nicely hidden. Uh, in particular, whoops. In particular, this. Uh, you can't really tell. Like, if 
you wanted to tell me about that, I wouldn't even know. But I mean, an idiot, so what's that to say? Um, these are probably the most annoying piece because they do clamp in so well. God, that's a horrible word to use in this area. Um, but it's such a, a close fit that you really have to get like your fingernail underneath there, which is really annoying. As opposed to these ones, which sort of, even though you have to get your fingernail under there, they almost have like a hold there, which is just nice. Um, so yeah, I need to put another arm piece back on, I just realized that. So yep, now all we have to do is I'm going to put this stuff away quickly, and then we're going, damn it, Phoenix, everyone's embarrassing me today and I'm going to cry. Um, we'll compare him to the Figma, you know, because I bought those, that was a thing. Uh, so I need to put his arm piece back on because he's naked here, it's embarrassing. So anyway, I'm giving him the staff because my Figma has the staff and the sword, if you know what I mean. I don't know why I keep saying that. I should be saying that's what she said. Damn it. Get your staff in your hand. I mean, come on. So now you just get a lovely view of Phoenix's uh, right wing. And, like, what white? Isn't that just beautiful? That'll be the picture for the review. Like, when you just go, it says Odin review, and it's just that. Anyway, I'm just babbling now. Anyhow, so we got him here, just kind of a generic pose. Um, so, let's pull in the Figma. Where are you? There you are. Here is the Figma. Um, obviously you can see a huge difference. It's kind of funny because when I got the Figmas, don't, don't get me wrong, the Figmas are very solid figures. They're nowhere near as good as the figure it's for Yuki's, but they're solid figures. But the point is, is that when I got them, I'm like, man, these are really cool, and they did a really good job on them. I don't see how figure art's going to be able to top this. Look at it. You can just see the difference. He's obviously taller, the paint's more vibrant, the detail's a little bit better. The only things that are slightly better is these, uh, sometimes I feel like the belts are a little more accurate, but they can't come out. And the sort of like rubber material here they use does do a better job of blending, so you don't notice the joints as much. Um, but other than that, overall, much better figure. So for whatever reason you're like uh, on the fence and trying to decide, definitely go for the figure art. Even though the figmas are kind of like dirt cheap right now, which is kind of upsetting. But anyhow, overall, really great figure, just like all the Ryuki figures. Um, they do a great job. I know I get really repetitive in the Ryuki figure reviews, but these really are like the top tier that they seem to spend their most amount of time on. Uh, great articulation as always, that's just a mess with figure arts. And the mold is one of the best molds out there right now. Details are always great, you get a ton of playability with the various accessories and the Gold Phoenix. Gold Phoenix. So yeah, a very cool figure. If you're a fan of this guy's characters, or his design, I uh, definitely recommend him. Another very solid Ryuki release. So until next time, make sure you check out the, play the Plazy, the crazy podcast at Riders, Rangers, and Rambles. Until next time, this is Dawson Rider, signing out.